Well, this is an update to an earlier video on my uh, Afghan box camera. <coughs> I discovered um, accidentally that I'd made a mistake in the de in the design of it. I was getting fuzzy images and I couldn't figure out why. And what I learned was that I had my focus plate set up. Now in the in the video you'll see this is the part that travels back and forth and you actually look through this side and you focus um, what I figured out was that initially I had these film holders on this side and so when you when the film plate is back you'd reach in you take your film um, I'll use this this is a, a tin type I'd put the film in this way after focusing um, and then I'd you mark it and then you move it back into position anyhow I had my frosted glass or actually plexiglass on this side so this is what I would be focusing on and this is my actual film plane now what I learned the hard way was that between the film plane here and where my where my frosted glass was was on this surface that's about three-eighths maybe even a little bit more three-eighths of an inch difference from one plane to the other now in any kind of camera that is huge and it gave me consistent slightly fuzzy results now once I figured that out I would adjust for it uh, with my with my uh, slide rod and I'll show you that in a minute. Ultimately what I've done was I've moved these from this side to this side. Uh, well, I haven't done it yet because I'm, uh, I'm not there, but I've taken my frosted plexiglass, frosted side out so that when I look through this end I'll be focusing on this surface and this will actually also be my film plane. So when I slide in my film I'll be focusing and photographing on the same plane instead of nearly half an inch apart. And that is my update on, on that. Um, I'll give you a look at my camera here in a minute. Okay, so I'm here in my cellar uh, with very, fairly poor lighting conditions, but I'll show you what I can. So, as damn it, as described earlier, uh, this is your focus plane right here, and this is work just by putting this rod in and out. And you're actually not going to be that far away. You're going to be relatively close. You're going to be more up here. And all, all of this will be your workspace down inside, if you can see, is where you would put your uh, developer stop bath and uh, your fixer trays. And up here, this is where I keep the film and its package until I'm ready to use it. And this, of course, is where the, the lens goes. I don't have it installed right now. It's damp down here. Um, so as I said, I had had the, the uh, focus plate in this way, my film plane was here, and my focus surface was here. And as you can see, that's a lot of dif difference. So now I've moved the plexi frosted plexiglass and my film holders to the same side so they're on the same level surface. I'll reinstall that at some point and then that will become my new and updated focusing surface and hopefully I'll get sharper images. <clears throat> Once I learned how to adjust, you know, would focus this way and move your clamp up. And what I would do is I would actually move this thing back a little bit, about the same thickness as the, the uh, focus plate, 
and I move it up. I think it was up. Uh, no, back. I'm sorry. In any case, I had to move it about three eighths of an inch to get my actual focus. Uh, after, of course, you look in from here through there, and you focus on that moving surface there. And uh, that is about it. I wanted to pass that along so if anybody was trying this themselves, they wouldn't make the same mistake. Um, because focus is everything. And uh, I've also got some, <clears throat> I just recently bought some uh, uh, direct positive paper. And I'm looking forward to trying that out this season. So until next time, bye.